Hello, I'm Brian, here in the training facility at Jackson Center, Ohio. And today I'm excited to introduce a new model to the Airstream lineup, the Airstream Tradewind. The Tradewind is available in our popular 25 FB floor plan. FB stands for front bedroom. And in this model, we have the queen bed set up. Later this year, we will also have available a twin bed option. The Tradewind measures 26 feet, two inches, and that is from hitch to bumper. It weighs 6,200 pounds, which includes the batteries and LP, and it maxes out with a maximum GVWR of 7,300 pounds. What makes Tradewind unique is that we help extend your off-grid adventure. We do that by increased battery size, increased solar bank, and water-saving features. So for the batteries, our typical option for lithium batteries is 200 amp hours. The Tradewind comes stock with 810 amp hours worth of lithium batteries. For the solar, our traditional solar package is anywhere from one to 300 watts. The Tradewind comes standard with 600 watts of solar. Connected to the battery bank is a 3000 watt inverter. That 3000 watt inverter connects all of the components and all of the outlets to the battery. That means the entire trade wind is inverted. That allows you to run all of the items that are inside. Part of the design feature of extending that off-grid ability was the ability to take the path less traveled. So we added a three inch lift to the unit, larger diameter wheels, and more aggressive tires. The Tradewind has our iconic entry door, insulated, shuts and seals like a bank vault. However, we do have an update on this door, an easier to use and to manage entry door latch with both a lock and a deadbolt mechanism built in. Still shuts and seals, just like our, our iconic doors have always done. Right below, you have a fold away aluminum step. It folds up, up away and inside the belly pan of the Airstream. Aerodynamics, and it keeps all that um, water, grit, everything else off of the step. The Tradewind comes with a Zipti aluminum awning. The awning opens up, it's sheathed in an aluminum tube to help keep the UV rays off of the material when stored. Uh, the awning is deployed, it can be positioned and tilted for weather or sun, uh, depending on how you like to have that done. Moving over to uh, the galley side of this unit, we have uh, two porthole windows that peek out from the galley. You have your vent, which um, is for your cooktop. So when you get to your campsite, you can unlock this, opens up that air to the cooktop. The, the trade wind does have never lube axles. So similar to other Airstreams, that means it's a cartridge style type bearing that does not need maintenance. It's similar to like an automotive style type bearing. When it does become time to change it, you just simply change the bearing itself, but that lifespan is quite long. Again, as I mentioned, all of the outlets are inverted. So this 110 plug on the outside is being powered by the battery bank. We have our exhaust for a hot water tank. Right next to it is our storage that is right underneath the queen mattress. If you do select a twin, there'll be a storage on either side of the unit underneath each bed. Right above another porthole window and one of our uh, in-house made opening windows. These opening windows are pivoted at the very, very top that allows the full window to extend and open for all that fresh air to come through. All opening windows have a screen and they have a rain gutter. So if it is raining a little bit, you actually can keep that window cracked open. If it is raining pretty hard, you may want to close it. So coming off to the front, we have both our solar guard and our stainless steel rock guards. The solar guards help deflect some of that energy from the sun, but it also helps protect the windshield if you're taking the unit off-road. Uh, certainly if you have aggressive tires, it helps keep the rocks at bay and helps protect the glass. If you want to clean behind them, there are quarter turns on a Phillips or flathead uh, screw. It's one quarter turn on each one will open that up and they're pivoted on both sides. The stainless steel rock guards below 
they also pivot. There's a, there's a hinge on, stainless steel hinge on the side, so if you wanted to clean behind that, you can simply unscrew the bolts and open that up to clean behind there as well. This front window pivots at the very top, opens up on either side, and has two struts that help hold that open in case you want to open up this window as well. The, behind this is an opening glass window. The LP shroud holds two 30-pound LP tanks. Your LP is used for, for your furnace, for your hot water, and for your cooktop. Right below, the, on the back side of the LP tank, is going to be a compartment. Now, typically, that's where the batteries are stored in a traditional Airstream. With the trade wind, the batteries are housed inside the belly of the unit. So, that area is now a storage area. It has a lock on there, but you can hold things like tools, hoses, etc. In the front is your powered hitch jack with light. Makes it very easy to help hook up, certainly with weight distribution bars. Your seven-way, your brake control, and your safety chains. In the front, off to both sides of this, you'll have an LP port for a portable barbecue. Uh, just simply plugs in. It's a low flow, so you have to have a dedicated barbecue for it, a low flow barbecue for it, um, which we do offer an Airstream version of that. And then on the other side is an additional solar port. So I mentioned the, uh, this comes standard with 600 watts of solar on top. If for whatever reason you wanted more solar, or if you wanted to get to a spot where you can position the solar, a portable solar around, you can plug in an additional portable solar array in the front there. On the side of the trade wind, this model comes equipped with the optional awning package. The awning package uh, is a shade awning for this side of the unit and the rear of the unit as well. So if you select the awning package, it comes with a shade awning here and a shade awning on the rear. That patio awning is always standard. Those awning packages also are wrapped in aluminum to help protect the fabric from any kind of UV damage. Nice, large, fully opening window, again, screened with the rain gutter. Kind of a reminder, but we do have four heavy-duty stabilizer jacks. Uh, those can be zipped down on either side on each corner. Right next to that is the storage for the wastewater hose. And speaking of wastewater, you have your releases for gray and the waste right here on either side. A LED light that can be turned on if it is dark out to help with that. Right above, you have a hot and cold shower, an outside shower, great for rinsing off. If you have pets, if you have gear you want to clean up, what's nice is that anything you do out here, the water just simply goes to the ground and doesn't go in any kind of holding tank. Speaking of tanks, you have three tanks in this unit. You have a fresh, gray, and waste. All three of those are 39 gallons. So you have an option of filling your fresh water tank here. It's locked. You unlock that, you can fill it 39 gallons worth of fresh water. If you are at a campsite and you don't need the water um, because they have water available at the campsite, you simply just plug it into this. This is your fresh water inlet right here. There's a pressure regulator um, that's built into this as well that helps regulate the water pressure throughout the unit. And before you leave and you wanted to clean your waste tank, that's what this does here. This has jets inside that help clean up any kind of the solids that you might have in that waste tank. Again, just to simply point out, we do have a, simply point out the fact that it is inverted, so this runs, it's a 110 switch that is gonna be powered off the battery bank, and it's available on either side on this particular model. Two very large uh, windows that open, again, letting fresh air in, screened with the rain gutters. Here you have your 30 amp smart plug connector. This would be used if you're gonna be camping at a campsite or you wanna charge up your batteries. Right below that is the data port and coax cable. Data port can be used for internet. The coax cable, cable can be used for cable TV at a campsite, or if you have a satellite um, dish, you can also plug it in that way as well. Right beside that is your furnace uh, exhaust. So this is your, your furnace. And around back, this unit is optioned with our rear hatch. The rear hatch offers not only this ability to put the screen down and have all this fresh air come through, but it also allows the table to be removed and stored under the bed and large lengthy items like maybe a kayak or a stand-up paddleboard or items like that to be rolled or slid right through the center of this. If you do select the hatch, we do put this guard on top of the storage, the rear storage bumper. And with that, let's take a look on the inside of the brand new Trade One.
Welcome to the inside of the Trade Wind. The Trade Wind has two different decor options. Really, it's the cushions. We use this really breathable and stain resistant fabric. Uh, it's available in this fieldstone color, which is a, which you see here, and also a really beautiful terracotta, kind of a burnt orange style type look. In this unit, you have another sleeping option. So the bedroom has your queen bed, or later in the year, a twin bed. Um, back here, this converts to a bed as well. So the table comes down and you have two options of sleeping here as well. Now this table will look slightly different if you don't have the rear hatch. With the rear hatch, you have these two removable aluminum poles and the table. If you don't have the rear hatch and it's a standard rear shell, it's gonna have a different style type table. The table will actually pivot and, and swing down into it into the bed into the bed format. Within the trade wind, we have a smart 12 volt TV. So you have capabilities within the television itself to have its own apps, and it has the ability through Bluetooth to connect to the JL audio stereo. So you can have your sound through the television if you're watching TV as intended, or if you want to submerge yourself in that surround sound with a subwoofer. You can do so by connecting to the JL Audio system and have that full surround sound piece within the, the trade wind. Uh, both the bedroom TV and the living room TV are smart and 12 volt. In the galley, you have this deep stainless steel sink, faucet with remo removable sprayer. And one thing that we do specifically from a water conservation standpoint is all the faucets within the trade wind are on a recirculating hot water tankless system. So hot water will not come to the faucet until it is at the desired temperature. Uh, that works for the shower, the bathroom faucet, the kitchen faucet, and as well as the outdoor shower as well. So again, conserving that, that water. Right below it is storage and a waste tank. All of our lighting is on a dimmer switch. We have these new lights that are very sleek underneath the cabinets. Those also dim as well. Roller blinds throughout the unit, cased in aluminum to match the interior of the, of the unit. So in the galley, we have these three drawer systems. In the drawers, we actually use in the trade win locking, a locking mechanism for the drawer itself. So it closes, snaps, locks, and it cannot open again. I, the, the reason behind that is in case you do decide to take the unit off the beaten path and it's going to be a little bit more of a bumpy road, we want to make sure that those stay closed throughout your journey. Above the cooktop is a Baraldi exhaust fan with light, a nice working light, three burner gas cooktop, and it comes standard with an LP oven. What we have here is the optional convection microwave oven. Again, when selected, that will work off the house batteries. Right above me is a skylight that opens up and shades in case someone is sleeping in this area. And then right over here is a ceiling fan, multi-speed ceiling fan with a rain sensor. So if you wanted to go out, get to your destination, kind of get some fresh air coming through, go for a hike, starts raining a little bit, this will automatically close. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything inside getting wet. Right behind me, inside the overhead lockers, which do have that mechanical fastener, we have um, a inverted plug, 110, USB-A, USB-C ports. Bring your own HDMI device uh, and, a, and the, inter, the antenna booster. So let me go over those real quickly. If you are gonna watch TV over the air, we have a booster that's right there that you wanna hit. Um, if you're gonna be using cable TV or any kind of satellite TV, you don't wanna have the booster on. Right above that is that HDMI port. That is kind of bring your own device. If you have an Apple TV, Roku, whatever it is that you might wanna connect, you can connect right in that as well. And it is pre-wired for Airstream Connect. In the trade win, when you have the battery capacity that this model has, along with the solar capability, we gotta be able to monitor how much energy is remaining, certainly if you're on extended off-grid stays. 
This touchscreen will offer you that availability of information. It will show you during your current consumption. So if you have your AC running, or if you have your furnace on, or your lights or TV, whatever it is you have running, it'll tell you how much time you have remaining in that current capacity. And if you adjust your, your amount of energy being used, it will also highlight and show what that time change will be. So you have a nice understanding of what's going on with your batteries. It also will highlight the incoming energy from solar and what that's doing as far as energy as well. On top of that, if you do plug into shore power, it'll give you an idea of how much longer it will take to fully charge those batteries and give you all the information you need as far as all the electricity is concerned. Gives you a very nice snapshot. One thing that's also available is if you do get internet, so if you do provide that Airstream Connect or your own internet channel within the Airstream, you can connect this through internet and download an app on your cell phone, Android, Apple device, and you can actually monitor this remotely. So you can remotely see your capacities, what the solar is doing, what your energy is doing, etc. So if you do happen to go off on an adventure and you wanted to kind of get an idea of what's going on, you have access to that as well. Right behind that is our eight cubic foot refrigerator, 12 volt, nice indoor storage tray storage on both sides, pull out bins, and or a shelf that kind of folds back and forth in case you have tall bottles or bigger items. On the inside of the freezer, again, shelf, removable shelves, door as well, but a lot of room there to put whatever you might want in there as well. Storage right up above. Right across the way, you have storage right above your pull out pantry. Pull out pantry is great for bagged items, um, also great for canned goods, etc., and they're adjustable. So these, these racks can actually be moved up and down, providing all that adjustability. And again, deep overhead lockers give you a lot of additional storage right over the galley. As we move back into the bedroom, into the shower, and into the bathroom, a couple call outs. One, privacy curtain. Uh, the privacy curtain does come out to the other side of the wardrobe, so it allows someone who's getting out of the shower or getting dressed to close the privacy curtain, but still have access to their wardrobe. We have another privacy curtain in the bedroom. So vice versa, if you would like to have privacy there or just on both sides, if you have guests inside your Airstream, you can do that on either side, in the bedroom or in the living room area. The shower has its own exhaust fan, really useful when after taking a shower and it's all wet in there, you simply open the exhaust fan up and that helps dry out all the water that's inside. Um, there's also a clothesline on the inside and a reminder that that does have the hot water recirculating feature so you're not wasting water waiting for that hot water to come. Right across the way is the lavvy. You have an option of a composting toilet. The composting toilet will separate the solids and the liquids. The liquid would still go down into the waste holding tank but the solids do not. So it's another way of kind of extending your off-grid capability and a way of conserving your waste tank storage. Also in the lavvy, we'll have a medicine cabinet for additional storage and storage below, as well as a towel ring um, and the controls for your hot water tank. So that recirculating hot water feature, the controls are inside the lavvy. You, you can set it and forget it, uh, turn it on, turn it off, uh, but the controls are all right on the inside. Moving into the bedroom, we have the queen bed setup. Now on a 25 FB, the queen bed is what we like to call east-west. So the head of the bed is over here, the foot of the bed is where I am. If you do elect to go with the twin bed route, the beds will be north-south. So we have a bed here, a nightstand, and another bed where I'm standing right here. Uh, that again will be available later this year. In the bedroom, you have a smart TV um, that is connected to the bring your own device. So that's an option. So if you were to plug in, for example, an Apple TV or a Ruko or um, whatever device you want to bring, it will play on either TV simultaneously, or there's an additional HDMI port on this TV that you can plug in a separate device if that's what you wish to do. Right above the TV is the controls for the AC and heat pump. You have an option of running it just as a vent only, so bringing fresh air in, 
AC, which cools the unit to a desired preset temp, to whatever temperature you want to set it at, or as a heating element. So it actually can heat the unit as well. Those heat pumps are good into about 40 degrees or so. Anything below that, you're going to want to use the built-in furnace. And this has a built-in furnace which relies on the LP. Remember, the AC runs off of the house batteries. So you actually have that built in. Above is the access to the AC system and your, your filter. So this has, uh, with those half turn screws, there's four screws, it drops down and you have a cartridge style, residential style filtration system. So that filter can be replaced uh, when, it gets, when it gets dirty. In the queen room, we have a closet with storage. Um, it's a hanging closet or shelves, depending if you wanna have shelves in there or you just wanna use it to hang clothes. Uh, below additional storage and then nice big storage above here as well so for whatever items clothing towels whatever big items you may want to put up you have these big overhead locker storage reading lamps um, below reading lamps on the side on either side again speakers back here uh, those speakers can be turned off by the stereo if you don't want the music back here or vice versa you can put the music just back here and not in the rear of the unit. In the nightstand, we have a USB-A and a USB-C port, and then right next to it is a 110 outlet. And remember, that 110 outlet is inverted, so you can plug in a standard 110 appliance, but it'll be running off the batteries. The, the ceiling lights throughout the trade win are dimmable. In the bedroom, we have all these blackout shades. So in the living room, we have some blackout shades and some roller shades. Out here in the bedroom, they're all blackout shades. If you wish to take a nap and it's still sunny out, you can simply close those up, or if you're looking for privacy, simply close those as well. Under the bed, there's additional storage and storage bins. Lifts up, will stay up, and gets lowered back down. With the panoramic window in the bedroom, it really is a great way to begin and end your day. With the trade wind, you can go further, stay longer, all while bringing the comforts of home with you at all times. I really appreciate you taking the time to learn about Tradewind today. For additional information, check out our website and see it in person at one of our local retailers. We'll see you out there.